What's going on everybody? Fish Guy Jack here back with another video. We're on the 20 foot sea craft of mine and I got my cousin Kyle, also known as Isaiah. You guys can call him the snook honestly down below. Today we're in uh, Boca Inlet right now. We're gonna try to catch up some blue runners or some pilchards and we're gonna try to catch some barracudas. We're gonna do a catch clean cook, the first one on the channel. Kyle's stoked, I sure am too. Kyle's rigging up the sabiki right now. Tying it up right there. We're gonna catch some baits. Then we're gonna go back on the inside because we got a really good cuda spot along this beautiful hotel that's here in South Florida. And uh, we'll see what we can do today. So on some days, bait fishing can be really tough, but right now we're in the middle of the Boca Inlet right here, and the baits are directly right below us. We're gonna be going after some blue runners, some sardines, some pilchards, because that's what these damn kudas love. And if we don't get any baits, we got a freaking cool ass lure that we have. And I think we're still gonna fish it anyway, because I'm curious to see how it works. But the baits are all below us. The water's crystal clear. We're about to slay them. Now I hope you guys can see all the little pilchards down there. There is a ton of them. Now inside these pilchards, I'm sure we're gonna see some snook, we're gonna see barracudas, we're gonna see tarpon. It's gonna be a crazy video today, y'all. All right, Kyle's dropping the beaky down. In the water. Now when Kyle's doing that, I'm gonna be de-hooking. This is a little de-hooking tool because you don't want to touch the baits. Oh, you got him. He's railing them. He's railing them. Oh my God, you have a full stringer. You hope, lost, oh, like you lost two. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Boom. Booyah, first bait in the freaking cooler. Let's get that oxygen rolling. Just like that. Now these baits are gonna catch. Oh, we're gonna crash the boat here, folks. All right, we're in some steep current, so I gotta pay attention here. I don't wanna crash the boat. We gotta load up, we gotta load up the cooler with baits. Then we're going fishing, baby. There we have it. How many baits do you think we got, Kyle? Two dozen? Two and a half does. That's gonna do it for the bait fishing. That's usually the hardest part. Once you get the bait, the fish come easy. We're heading back inside to this lake called Lake Boca. It's a beautiful lake where everyone comes and rafts up on the weekends, you know, parties a little bit, but we're going inside. We got some wire rigged up. We're gonna go catch some toothy aquarium fish. These things are known to be in inside aquariums. And we're gonna try to see if we can eat one, see how they taste. Let's do it. We made it to our desired location. Right here, this is the Boca Resort. They got a bunch of big yachts here. This is a very well-known hotel here in South Florida, but we got some pilchards. We got some wire rigs. I'm gonna show you guys the rig now. Here you go, a little bit of wire. You got a big J hook there. Then you got your treble hook here. You need wire because their teeth are so damn sharp. If you're fishing mono, it's gonna, it's gonna slice right through your line and you'll never catch one. It's time to get lines out and put one in the boat. All right, now this rig, one goes in the tip of the nose like this, booyah. And then these stinger rigs are a little big for this bait, but you need the wire. Then the treble hook goes right in the back of the tail. Just like that, baby. Let's get them in the water. Yeah, you Out you go, Bubba. I'm gonna put it in gear. All right, we got lines out. All we're gonna be doing is kind of just slow trolling this wall right here, because all the big barracudas, this is where they like to sit. Now we want one that's about maybe Biggest 30 inches, I'm thinking, Kyle. I don't want one any bigger. Because these things, I don't know. They're a little sketchy to eat, but it is what it is. We gotta try it. You know, I hear it's delicious. I've seen other YouTubers catch, clean, and cook them. And it looks really good, so you gotta try it for yourself. Let's sit patient. This shouldn't take too long. There he is. You got him? Same drag, same drag. Sandwich down, we're on. Tight on a Cuda. Please be a Cuda, we need one. We were just talking how we need one so desperately. Cuda. Yep. Oh yeah! Nice work, Isaiah! You guys can call him Isaiah, you can call him the snow. He eats shrimp with no cocktail sauce. What's up to say that? <laughs> Let's go, he ate right along that wall. Oh, that's a perfect eater! That's a perfect eater, bro! See him flicking down there? Alright, you boat flip him, I'm gonna get out of the way. Take your time on him, Isaiah. Nice work, Kyle. That's a nice, that's a perfect eating size, Kudo. That is perfect eating size. Get him in the boat. Get him in there. Yeah! Nice, Kyle. Give me some. You. Hell yeah. That's what we were after all morning, folks. I'm telling you, that is a great that's eating a perfect, fish. That's a perfect size fish for eating. Right that there. is a perfect size fish not to eat. Not too big, not too small. Exactly. You don't want to eat the really big ones because sometimes they'll come with high mercury, Sigiterra, 
just some a lot of crazy stuff you don't want to put in your body but that one's going in the damn in the damn cooler then he's going right in the frying pan all right there's the cuda check out the absolute chompers on that thing right there people put these things in aquarium but on fish guy jack's channel we put them in the cooler one thing about these things they reek that's one reason why a lot of people kind of are scared of eating them but i've never eaten them myself i've always released them but today we're trying them even when we went to the tackle shop today the guy said oh my god you never tried kudas they're delicious this guy's going on ice all right we caught one on the live bait now we're going to step it up a notch we're going to take the challenge up just a little bit more and we're going to try to get one on something called a cuda tube this right here this is a green tube with just a little weight right in the top treble hook at the bottom wire in between it all and these things they look stu they look stupid but they actually they actually slay fish we're gonna throw this thing out the back we're gonna throw it along the wall let's see if we can get one No luck on the Cuda tube lure, but I'm gonna show you guys just how simple and easy it is to go out here and catch a Barracuda and eat it for dinner. So let's tuck this thing out there. See how long it takes. He ate it. He ate the shit out of it, Kyle. Got him. I got him. I got him. I had him. Well, that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That one was small. The rain is starting to come down. We're heading back to the house. We gotta clean this Cuda. All right, we're back. We're at the 4,000 gallon pond. Let's get the Cuda out of the cooler. We picked up some more ice on the way here. Here he is. This is a little guy. Oh, this is a little guy. Now I did bleed him because it's good to bleed him when it uh, gets the blood, makes the meat a little bit better. Let's see how big he is. He is almost 22 inches. Now first, before we flay him, I need everyone to say thank you, Kyle, down below. This Kyle really helped me out today. He's filming me. And uh, yeah, my cousin Kyle, everyone say thanks, Kyle, down below. Now let's feed some. Whoa! Better watch out, bud. All right, let's get some freaking. Let's get the bucket right here. Let's throw some food at the koi. Whoa. All right, here we go. Now we're feeding the koi. Everyone eats. And the scraps of the barracuda, I'll feed to them as well. That way nothing goes to waste. So now, let's start filleting this puppy. So this is the first barracuda that I would have ever filleted in my life. I'm very excited to see the meat here. I can cut there, come down the backbone here, ride your knife, just like that. Booyah. Wow, white meat, bro. Check out how white that meat is. That's insane. Barracuda, everyone freaking stays away from this. This fish is called a trash fish to some people, but we're gonna find out. There's the filet right there. It does need to get washed up. We gotta take the skin off it. These things smell so freaking bad. There you have it, there's your filet. We're gonna take the pin bones out of it. I'm gonna knock off the other side, then we're gonna go into the kitchen, and we're gonna cook this puppy up. I'll see you guys inside. Up in the kitchen out here, guys. Fish Guy Jack's first catch, clean, cook. We got our pan here, we're gonna use the pan. I believe this is olive oil. Yeah, this is what we want. Olive oil, we need butter, and we're gonna season it just with some plain old Old Bay. Nice and simple, this is the way I like to cook my fish personally. I catch a lot of snappers, snook. We go offshore, we catch mahis. This is the way we cook all our fish because it's simple and it tastes really good. Fire up this pan here, get it rolling, just like that. And then we're gonna take, take our olive oil, put it in there, just like that. We're only gonna cook one piece because it's all we need right now. We're just gonna test it out. We're gonna try it and I'm gonna keep the rest and I'm not gonna waste any of it. All right, just some salted butter into the pan. It's gonna do it, let's let this thing heat up. Then we're gonna put our fish in here. All right, it's heated up, throw our fish in there. Got our Old Bay here. Sprinkle a little bit on yonder. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, that's good on this side, flip it over. Look at that, baby. Wow, that's looking freaking good. Do it right there. Mm, mm, mm. Give you some of that, Chef Jack in the kitchen. Let's get a thousand likes on this video if you guys are enjoying the Catch Clean Cooks. Personally, I love filming this kind of style of videos. So let's get a thousand likes and uh, I'd really appreciate it. All right, there it is. There you have it. All cooked up. Let's get her on the plate. Booyah. That looks really good. Doesn't smell fishy at all. Hmm. You know what I might do now is when I see a, a Barracuda at the aquarium store, I might buy it and throw it right in the cooler. What do you think? Then we eat it. Kyle, what do you think of that? Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, let's try this puppy. Let's try it. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous, but it smells really good. 
Gotta blow it, I don't wanna burn my lip or my tongue. It's delicious. It's delicious. Tastes like a snapper. I can't tell the difference. If you put a blindfold on me and put five fish in front of me, I would never be able to tell you that one of them is barracuda. That's delicious. All right, Kyle, you try it. Be honest. If it sucks, it sucks. What do you think? Initial thought. Tastes like real chicken. Dude, it's good. That's all it tastes like is chicken. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. It's delicious. Do you want to try it? No. You sure? People are skeeved out by Barracuda, but I'll tell you what, I'm a big fan. That's gonna do it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you all watching, subscribing, and liking. You guys enjoyed this Catch Clean Cook? Let me know down below, and let me know what other type of fish you want me to go out there and catch, clean, and cook. I'll see you guys in another video. Be sure, if you haven't done so already, hop on the rocket. We're heading to the moon. 100K is our next stop. I love you guys so much. See you guys in the next video. Peace.